Welcome back to the channel everyone. We finally get to do an updated comparison on two phones that have been out for a while. So the iPhone 11 is a newer one so it's only been out for like a couple months. But the iPhone XS Max has also been out for quite a bit of time and a lot of things have changed with both of these phones more so the software than anything else but also the longevity. We really don't know which phone is necessarily like if the iPhone XS Max is going to last as long as the iPhone 11. I'm not really too sure about that but there's some huge advantages for both phones and I figured I might as well re-update the comparison. Some things have changed and actually a major thing has changed which I don't think a lot of you guys even probably even heard about but I'll go ahead and hit on the you know eventually on this video now one of the major ones that have changed would definitely be the price tag the iPhone 11 on Amazon is still selling for about $700 it's still you know pretty expensive but the iPhone XS Max for that 256 gigabyte model which is a higher top tier model and actually the highest storage model available for the iPhone 11 you can pick that up on Amazon for the XS Max for about $680 right now and if you're watching this like a month or two later it might be even cheaper than that so if you want to pick that iPhone XS Max up for that price or an iPhone 11 for that retail price I'll link those down in the description below on Amazon and you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time but looking at both these phones starting off with the front the iPhone 11 has that 6.0 one inch liquid retina IPS panel it's 828 by 1792 and it's a pretty good panel at the end of the day I feel like I don't think if you're you know, using it if you're really using it day to day I don't think you're going to feel like you have an outdated panel you're not going to feel like you have an ugly panel or anything like that there may be some cases where you're like oh man like I really wish I had like an OLED display especially with iOS 14 I feel like it's going to bring some cool little things with OLED displays that could potentially turn your display into an always on display who knows but with an OLED display you're able to take advantage of things like that especially with jailbreak tweaks like that but with the iPhone 11 you kind of have an IPS panel and the iPhone 9 or iPhone SE 2 is also going to have an IPS panel so it's not like this is going to be the last phone ever made with it but it's looking like the iPhone 12 lineup are probably going to bring OLED panels on all of them so you're going to kind of feel like you have an outdated panel in a little bit but as of right now I guess it's okay but the iPhone XS Max has a beautiful 6.5 inch super retina OLED display it is 1242 by 2688 and it's a very very good display it really is one of the best displays ever you have force touch on that display as well which is surprising I wasn't expecting to remember that but again I've owned my 11 Pro for so long that I don't even remember that so that's kind of like a feature that probably a lot of people don't care about anymore but with that iPhone XS Max that display has always been one of my favorite displays on a phone I feel like the 11 Pro Max is you know pretty much the same exact thing and what I will tell you is is that even though the Samsung Galaxy series pretty much do have better displays overall the iPhone XS Max has tremendous displays I love this display a lot and if I were you I would 100% recommend picking up you know the iPhone XS Max just based off the display it's not an end-all be-all though like I said if you have an iPhone 11 display you might not even feel like you probably even care about it to be honest but the iPhone XS Max Max, if the rumors are true and if iOS 14 is going to be a pretty big refresh and if we do get that always on display which we might get that's going to be a cool advantage you're going to be able to take on an iPhone XS Max that you won't be able to get on an iPhone 11 so that pretty much covers it up on the front they both have lightning ports on the bottom no headphone jacks on both if you look on the back they have glass backs on both devices where the iPhone XS Max has a dual camera setup with a telephoto lens the iPhone 11 has a dual camera setup with the ultra wide sensor so a little bit of a switch up right there it's not an end all be all it's really like more or less of what you want I feel like maybe the iPhone 11 might be the one I would go for it just because the ultra wide sensor I kind of like more now I used to like the telephoto lens but now I kind of like that ultra wide sensor more so to each their own there's not really a clear winner on the camera side but but I'll hit on that in a minute but both phones have IP certification as well IP68 does water resistance so you can go up to 2 meters of water for 30 minutes so that's really really cool and in terms of the outside that really pretty much covers it obviously in the hand I feel like the iPhone XS Max does feel more premium especially when you're holding them side by side the iPhone 11 like I've said been saying before I've been saying since the 10R it just kind of feels like the 6S plus but with glass on the back it just kind of feels like that in the hand where well, the iPhone XS Max feels more like an iPhone 8 plus you know with a full-on display and everything and the iPhone XS Max definitely feels more premium and it's definitely heftier and bigger as well than the iPhone 11 like I said it's not an end-all be-all but that is something to kind of consider so that pretty much covers it up in terms of the front now hitting on the software the iPhone 11 came out with iOS 13 it's able to get iOS 13.3 on it and you know it's going to last for many many more versions of software it's not ending anytime soon but the iPhone XS Max started off with iOS 12 it is upgradable right now to iOS 13.3.1 
one and it's probably you know realistically maybe it'll stop you know a year before the iphone 11 but that's still many many more years down the line or it could potentially last as long as the iphone 11 i'm not really too sure it's kind of so early on in its life cycle some people are saying the 6s and that lineup in the se those phones are getting ios 14 which they might we're just gonna have to wait and see i mean honestly if i had to say it maybe the iphone 11 will last longer but like i said it's kind of too early on to tell however what i will say and one of the biggest changes that have happened since you know the last comparison i did of these would definitely be that jailbreak so the uncovered jailbreak came out for the iphone 11 and the iphone 10 max which is technically the first jailbreak for the iphone 11 and if you're between ios 13 and ios 13.3 you are able to jailbreak your devices without using a computer without anything like that and that's one of the biggest coolest advantages for these devices the jailbreak is very fast and that jailbreak is getting updated all the time so by the time you're watching this 4.3 might be out 4.4 might be out and like it's crazy how fast that jailbreak tweak is getting updated and i think at the end of the day if you're getting a phone like these it would be so much fun for you to jailbreak it it's not an end-all be-all but that is a pretty big advantage for picking up an iphone 10s max or an iphone 11 now just because of that jailbreak option so it's not the end of the world if you don't do it or whatever but it is a cool little thing that has happened in a one of the biggest changes that have happened in terms of both of these phones since the last comparison I've done. So that really pretty much covers it up there. Now hitting on the performance, like I said, not much has changed. They're both pretty much the exact same performing devices since before. The iPhone 10s Max has the Apple A12 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and there's three different models, a 64, 256, a 512 gigabyte models, and all those models have four gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 11 has the Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and three different models as well, but the storage models are all lower, a 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte models, so pretty much the top tier model is half the amount of storage available as a top tier model as a 10s Max. And all those models on the iPhone 11 have 4 gigabytes of RAM. What I can tell you about the performances is, is that it's more or less what you expect. I mean, I feel like the iPhone 11 probably is the consistent faster one. It's been, you know, it has a lower resolution display. It's pretty, it's extremely fast for what it is. But the iPhone 10s Max is also extremely fast. You know, I feel like if you're going to do anything with these devices, you know, from a day to day use, I don't think you're really going to care if the iPhone 11 is like 5 or 10% faster. I really don't think anybody really cares about that. So I feel like with the iPhone 11, you're getting probably better performance but again with the tennis max it's a cheaper phone overall however it's built better it feels better in the hand and you might just feel like you have a faster phone when you're holding a more expensive phone in your hands just because of that but like i said one doesn't really clear the other one out of the water i've done so many comparisons between these things and yeah i mean maybe the iphone 11 is the faster one but like i said when you're walking down the street when you're going to school when you're doing all your tasks you have to do in a day are you like oh my god my phone is so slow i wish i had a newer one no i don't really think if you have a tennis max I don't really think you could really care at that point because it's such a fast phone. So that's kind of how I would say, you know what I mean? So in terms of performance, I'll definitely say both phones are very, very good performing phones. But the iPhone 11 might have the edge. It might just be a little bit faster than the iPhone XS Max. So I think that really pretty much covers it up there. Now hitting on the cameras, both phones have dual camera setups. The iPhone XS Max has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and then a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. The iPhone 11 has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. On the front, 7 megapixel on the XS Max, you can do 1080p at up to 60 frames. On the iPhone 11, 12 megapixel sensor, where you can do 4K at 60 frames per second, which is super Super intense. That is one of my favorite things about the iPhone 11. That camera on that thing is just so killer. Not even in terms of quality, but that front camera too. Like that's an automatic W on my eyes. Now on that back camera, really, it's more or less of what you expect. I feel like, you know, I don't really think one blows the other one out of the water again. I feel like with the iPhone XS Max, you know, with that telephoto lens, it does a pretty good job. You know, you can do 4K at 60 frames on both these phones. And I feel like with the XS Max, it does a pretty good job at what it can. You have optical image stabilization on both lenses, where on the iPhone 11, and you don't only have OIS on that first camera on the wide angle lens. And like, like I said, I don't think one blows the other one out of the water. The iPhone 11 is a very good camera sensor as well. You have portrait mode and all those cool little things. And I think at the end of the day, I think Apple did a really good job of both these cameras. And I've done camera tests between these two. And again, like I really didn't see that big of a difference. But to each their own, I mean, if you can get an iPhone 11 for a good price or iPhone XS Max for a good price, I really think the camera quality is going to be the same. I don't think you're going to wish you had upgraded to a different phone, to be honest. So that pretty much covers it up there. Now ending it off with the battery life. The iPhone 11 has a 3,110 mAh battery. The iPhone XS Max has a 3,174 mAh battery. Both have wireless charging, which is really cool. But between both of them, I would probably say the iPhone 11 has the better battery life between them for sure. You have a low resolution panel. It's technically 
basically, you know, not a, as big of a display as the iPhone XS Max. And with those two things combined, I just feel like the battery is more optimized for a phone like that. And because of those three things, I don't know, maybe it's like two things. I would definitely say that the iPhone 11 has the better battery life between both these phones and probably one of the better iPhone batteries, probably below the 11 Pro Max. It's a very good battery life on that phone for sure. Now to kind of sum up the video and to answer the question, should you pick up an iPhone 11 now since both phones have kind of depreciated the same price or should you pick up an iPhone XS Max? What I will tell you is, is that if you can support a bigger design phone, like if you can hold a bigger phone, if you don't really care about it, I would 100% recommend picking up an iPhone XS Max. I think that phone is killer. There are some weird quirks with it, but I think at the end of the day, the iPhone XS Max is a killer phone with a lot of potential. And if I were you, I would probably end up picking up an iPhone XS Max, honestly. But the iPhone 11 is also a very, very good phone. There's really nothing wrong with it. It is pretty much everything you need to do with it. And at the end of the day, you can easily go into the Apple store and pick it up. With the iPhone XS Max, you have to kind of, you know, get it on Amazon and those things like that. So the choice is yours. If you want to pick these up for the prices that I said before, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there for the cheapest prices that I find. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section as well. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Oh fuck, at you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.